Hi folks, and welcome back to another video. Last time we looked on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. And now we're going to take a look at how to install the graphics drivers to actually get 256 colors and higher resolutions. And I'm going to also show you how to connect Windows 95 to the internet. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we start installing the graphics drivers, if you are here just to see how to connect Windows 95 to the internet, the timestamp will be right now on the screen and the timestamp will also be in the description. So let's get started with installing the graphics drivers. So the file that you will need is this ISO right here. We're going to install the SkyTech Display Doctor program which is a generic driver for Windows 9X, a uh, display driver that is. So to install it, we're going to go to Devices, we're going to go to Optical Drives, choose a disk file, and choose our ISO that we just downloaded. Now we're going to go to the Virtual Machine. Again, if you didn't watch the previous video, to actually get mouse and uh, to pass some keys over to Windows 95 from your keyboard like function keys and uh, key combos you just click on the screen and hit capture and in the bottom right corner you you will see a key right now it says right control and if you press it you're gonna release your controls from the virtual machine you're not gonna forward them to the virtual machine so let's just capture our cursor go to my computer and go to the disk we just mounted and run the driver. So we're going to run the driver installer, hit next, hit next, agree to the license terms. If you want, you can also read them. This is old software though, and uh, I don't even know if this company uh, exists any longer. So let's click next. You can click either of the two, custom installation or express. We're going to go with the express installation and start install. Once this is done, we are going to restart computer now and hit finish. So we're going to insert the password. And once we're back in Windows 95, we have to configure it to actually run in uh, using that driver. So what we're going to do is right click and hit properties. And this will go to the display properties. And what we're going to do is go to settings and then go to advanced properties. Then we're going to go here to the adapter page and change. Now if you do have a different version of Windows 95, like the first release, the retail, the one that is installed here from the floppy drives, it might look a bit different, the interface, but essentially it is the same process. So we're going to go select device, we're going to scroll down at manufacturers, and we're going to find SkyTech software. And we're going to select as a display adapter the SkyTech Display Doctor program. So we're going to hit OK. And now it says that it's missing a file that it's from the disk. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to select the file manually. We're looking for sdd9x.drv. That's a driver. So to find it, it's actually on a certain path. So you go to the C drive. You go to your programs folder right here. Then you scroll down and you find SkyTech. And this is the one. And in this folder, SkyTech, there is the disk folder. And in here we have the file. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit OK. So you can see we selected SkyTech. We're going to hit Apply and OK. And here we're going to select Apply and Yes to restart the computer. 
if it does not want to restart and it holds at the screen, what you can do is go to Machine and hit Reset. If this happens, so we're going to go to close, we're going to power off the machine. If this happens, what you can do is go to settings, display, and disable the 3D acceleration. And now you can hit start to start again the virtual machine. Now it does say that Windows was not properly shut down because we had to forcefully stop it. So we're going to press any key to run scan disk. And now once this is done, you can see that Windows 95 starts right up. So if you do have that error, uh, disable the 3D acceleration in the machine settings. So we're going to just uh, input the password and now it booted. And you can already see that the colors are a bit different compared to uh, to the previous uh, boot, and it's not yet in 256 bit uh, in 256 colors. It's still in 16 colors, but it's in like uh, it's another mode of 16 colors, like high high color. Yeah. So here you can select it to 256 color, and we can also select the resolution. I'm going to actually select it to uh, this size. This size should be enough. Hit apply and uh, you can do it also with restarting or without restarting. Uh, we're going to do it via restarting. If it does hold at this screen, uh, you just press reset to restart it or just close and power off uh, if you're just intending to power it off completely. Windows 95, as far as I remember, doesn't completely power it off. It just uh, expects you to actually turn it off from the power supply. But I'm not entirely certain on that. That's just what I'm remembering. So let's go here and uh, enter network password. And we're going to go with our password. And now we are booted in Windows 95. And you can see we have uh, the high quality drivers and uh, everything uh, is working. We got the display drivers, we got high resolution, we have uh, the high color mode, and everything is working fine. Now let's get started and connect to the internet. So don't run the internet from there, just Internet Explorer. And you can see now, right? So you can see now. It cannot open the internet. Now, this is kind of useless here. Just just uh, delete that shortcut from the desktop. It's useless. It just prompts us to do some wizard that doesn't really help that much uh, because it just prompts us to select a modem, and uh, we definitely don't have that. So you can run it from Windows, from the Internet Explorer, but you can see it doesn't work. So how do we configure the Internet so that it does actually run uh, and we can actually access the Internet? So we go to Settings and Control Panel, and we go to Network. And right now, under Configuration, we're going to hit Add and hit Protocol and hit Add. And then we can go to Microsoft and TCP IP and hit OK and hit OK. Hit ES to uh, get the driver and restart the computer. All right, so now it's uh, restarting the machine. And right now we are prompted to put in our password.
So let's try to access the internet right now. So you're going to go to Programs, Internet Explorer, and you can see it can access the internet, but the modern internet does use HTML5 and JavaScript, and uh, the old Internet Explorer installed by default on Windows 95 uh, does not support these uh, new things. So not only that it's going to look the way it looks, but you're going to get some errors and some uh, features will completely not work. But you can see we can access Google. So I'm going to just go www.google.com. You can see we can access it, but the image doesn't show. And if we click certain things, uh, it just does not work with certain scripts and certain uh, uh, certain features of the internet you can say you know 2020 the internet works it did access a modern version of Google and we can actually conduct searches so we're gonna search Bing it does actually work but now it's Google images we go to all results and we got here Bing and whatnot right so we're gonna click on it of course the script doesn't work properly but we are on bank right now you can see that so we do have internet and this is how you set it up so yeah guys thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this one hit the subscribe button so see you next time on how do i t